Now once we successfully connect the MongoDB with Next.js, let's take a look at how we can create this API. Now inside this API folder, we only have one API called hello.js. This file is going to create an endpoint API hello and this endpoint is going to return this data. Now what I want, I want to create the user endpoint and return all the data of the users as a response when we make a GET request. As well as we need to make POST, PUT and DELETE requests to manipulate that data. So inside this API folder, I'm going to create a new folder and name it users. This is going to create the endpoint path user. And inside this, I'm going to create a new file. Name this file index.js. This file is now represent the user endpoint. Means if I return something from this file, you have to call this users endpoint to get the data of this index response. Inside this index.js, I'm going to call this export statement. So I'm going to copy this and pass this function right inside this index. And at the top here, I'm going to call this MongoDB connection. So here I'm going to say import connect mongo from double dot forward slash double dot forward slash again and then I'm going to specify double dot forward slash then I'm going to select the database and the connection file inside this connection I have this connect dot mongo now just after that I have to make this function asynchronous so before this function here I'm going to say async so this will just make this function asynchronous just after that inside this function I want to check the method so let's suppose the user make a get request I want to first validate that request and return a response according to that method let me show you what I want to say. Then I'm going to create a comment and say type of requests. You all know there are different type of HTTP requests like get, post, put and delete. These are the HTTP requests. I wanted to check that if there is a get request, return a different response. If it is a post request, return a different response and so on. So from this request, I can get the method object. So right down here, I can say constant in the object. I'm going to destructure a property called method from the request object. Just out of that, let me get rid of this command. And here I'm going to call the switch statement. So I'm going to say here switch method. And then I'm going to pass here switch cases. So let me first add here case one, which is if it is a get request, then return this statement, something like this. But with this statement, instead of this name, I'm going to return method name so we pass here get request then i'm going to pass the method as well so here i'm going to say method so this object is also going to return the method name let me do the same for the other http request here i'm going to say case if it is a post request then i'm going to return the response so i'm going to pass here post let me do the same so copy this paste it right down here and this is a put request so we pass here put let me do the same for delete request so let me duplicate this and instead of put here i'm going to pass delete something like this and now at the end we need to pass here default case so we pass here default and here inside this default we pass the header first so we first say response dot set header allow in the array i'm going to pass get post put and delete so we are only going to allow these requests from this users api endpoint just out of that right down here i'm going to say response dot status which is 405 and then i'm going to say end and inside this i'm going to say method dollar sign and then call this method property and then i'm going to say not allow so this statement is going to return an error with the http request now let me get rid of this and now at the end you have to just break all these cases so if this method match with this first case we need to execute this response and break this switch so i'm going to say here break something like this let me do the same for all the cases let me copy this and paste that right down here save this file and then i'm going to scroll up and here i'm going to say connect dot mongos dot catch if there is an error inside this mongodb database i'm going to catch that error and return response so i'm going to say here response dot status which is 405 and then i'm going to say dot json and inside this json i'm going to return a json object so i'm going to say here error and i'm going to specify an error error in the connection so if there is an error inside a connection 
you will get this response from this API endpoint. Let me save this file and open the Postman API testing tool. Now I'm going to open the Postman API testing tool to test this API. So I'm going to just first specify the localhost 3000 API users, this folder name. Now this folder is now the API endpoint. Now when I make a get request, when I click on the send button, you can see I'm going to get a response here. Method get and name is get request. If I make a post request here and click on the send button, now this is a type of post request and I'm going to get the name post request. Do the same for the put and if I select the delete and make a request, I'm going to get here method delete with the name delete request. So this is how we can make the HTTP request inside your API. Now instead of having this response, we are going to make a controller to handle this response and return a response what we want.